In this video, you'll learn the core differences between LG and Samsung front load washers with three of their most popular model comparisons. However, in the end, you'll also learn about reliability based on over 350,000 real service calls completed over a 10 year period by our service team. That's right, 10 years of real service data. This is a basic comparison of their two least expensive machines at about $699 and it's the only comparison where the cubic footage is the same at 4.5 cubic feet. Cycles are similar, although Samsung technically has more at 10 versus eight for LG, but Samsung also has steam functionality to power out tough stains. But LG is shallower by a little over an inch, which could be important when stacking at 30 and a quarter versus 31.38 inches for the Samsung. LG also spins faster at 1300 versus 1200 RPM, so clothes will be drier for less drying time. This comparison is so similar, it should depend on price, and more importantly, which machine can be fixed quicker in your area, plus reliability, which you'll learn later in this video. The WM4000 and the WF50BG8300 is the most popular single comparison between LG and Samsung at $899. Both have upgraded features. LG has turbo wash shortening any cycle by adding five high pressure sprays in the front, while Samsung has super speed shortening their cycles to 28 minutes with one high pressure spray. However, the comparable Samsung is 0.5 cubic foot larger, five cubic feet. We also have to remember it's also 3.25 inches deeper for stacking. They both have smart functionality telling you cycle time and alerting you when the cycle is over and many advanced cycles like sanitize for whites and allergens for pets and allergies. LG is 12 cycles and 13 options Samsung literally is every cycle imaginable at 23. Turbo wash should be a bit better than Samsung's super speed wash with five high pressure nozzles versus one for faster wash. LG spin is also still faster, 13 versus 1200 for the Samsung. However, Samsung also has clean guard antimicrobial technology to prevent mold in the gaskets. Samsung's a bit bigger with more features while LG will fit better when stacking and will be better in a few cycles. And that's true of most of these comparisons, except Samsung is missing a few key features. Samsung Bespoke and the LG MH6700 literally have an infinite amount of cycles with their AI Smart Dial at 1099. Both simplify learn and recommend cycles, allowing you to customize any cycle as well. Want to wash their favorite shirt for a certain period of time with a different temperature and certain spin? You can do that with either. They also have, both have auto dispensers. Samsung is 32, while well, LG is 18. Auto dispensers are a worthwhile feature. Most people put too much detergent in a front load, thinking it's a top load. But excess detergent stays in the machine for an expensive future service call. An auto dispenser, however, adds the right amount of detergent at the right time. Samsung is still a bit larger at 5.3 versus five cubic feet for the LG, has the antimicrobial the larger dispenser versus the shallower and better spin of the LG. Looks like Samsung has the advantage in size and features, but wait, there's more. Where LG has the real advantage is in two key places. First, the wash tower is a one piece set of laundry using their advanced AIDD or direct drive using 11,000 data points to wash your clothes thoroughly based on the weight and softness of the clothes. Wash tower also has a control panel in the middle, so you're not reaching, controlling both washer and dryer. Now, Samsung has multi-control on certain models with smart functionality where, where you can control both from the washer, but it's not quite the same. Wash tower is also inexpensive for the features starting at $15.99 and $19.99 for both washer and dryer. There's a popular YouTuber who owns a, a used appliance store who says Samsung washers are doomed because of this spider bracket. So we pulled 10 years of service data. From 2012 to 2021, we sold 2,264 Samsung washers. Samsung washer transition fails were 12. Now a transmission job or a tub fail could be a number of parts, but at 0.5%, it's not statistically significant, whether it's a spider bracket or something else. But LG was way better with 13,708 units sold, only five requiring a new transmission, or 0.04%. That's unbelievable. And although both have excellent first year service percentage, LG seems to be a bit more reliable over time. So the numbers prove otherwise. Sorry, Ben, I still like your videos. 
However, where Ben and most of the other YouTubers get it right is both companies have problems if you need repair. So I always advise to check service before you buy, and that will be as important as a reliability percentage. Want to see more about the LG Wash Tower and how it compares to the G Profile Ultrafast? Then click here, and thanks for watching.